Oh man, I really wish I could go back to the pre-blip situation just like I was in Avengers Endgame, ladies Bruh. and gentlemen. Because right now, we got Tim the Tatman talking about it. We got this clip that is circulating around as well that I want to show you. And people are making thumbnails like that as well. <laughs> Yeah, this thumbnail is as real as those UFOs flying on top of your head. Uh, the thumbnail is actually Photoshop, but it's actually a real thumbnail that a YouTuber made as well. We're gonna check out this video because right now a lot of people are 50-50 with this situation, right? And I've read your guys' comments. A lot of you guys are saying that, yep, the Dr. Disrespect statement, indefensible, but... I need to see the chat logs because I'm not willing to buy this internet version, okay? Uh, and a lot of people are saying that, okay, after the doc statement, there is no way, okay? Hashtag no diddy, doctor did it, that, this and that, and there is a lot of stuff going around. And this situation has overblown, it has been overblown, absolutely! Like the video if you just want to know the truth, man, because at this point, it is actually wild. Check this, roll it into it man a crazy and sad story came out recently about the doc doc disrespect y'all know Wait he's one of the it. biggest streamers on the planet uh so check out this um, article here from rolling stone doc disrespect knowingly sent explicit messages to a minor damn former twitch employee says well at least now we know why he was banned off twitch in the year 2017 there's two things in life i always wondered why did malcolm butler play in that damn super bowl and why did the doc get banned off twitch and now we know. So this is back. Man, for for me, it was like, are we alone in the universe or not? And what happened to Doc? What happened to Doc? Why did he get banned? Why did he get banned? And uh, now they have answered the question, I guess. 2017. This taking us damn near seven years to find out why. Well, back in 2020, this girl Shannon dropped this tweet. She knew about it from my own sources. Doc is indeed done. And not just on Twitch. I know why and cannot say, cannot say but, but this is here. But, but that's the thing, though. Nowadays, everybody want to be a philosopher. And everybody's coming out and saying that they knew, though. You know, that, that's the weird part about it. Where were you guys at? I mean, uh, uh, yeah, there were you guys at, but like, why didn't you disclose it? This damn Doc had this hanging over his head for seven years? That's an awful long time to have something like this hanging over you, Doc. So Wait check this it. out, man. A worker person has come forward claiming that Doc Disrespect cheated on his wife yeah, we covered with that. they them in 2017. The same year he was caught talking to a minor. They go on to show detailed Twitter DMs asking for cam shows while promising a partnership in return allegedly well yo this is crazy now i know people are thinking how could doc have this hanging over him for seven years nobody came forward in seven years fellas yeah. you gotta understand something man doc disrespect was making a lot of people a lot of money including himself and when people are making money people tend to look the other way on things okay true now true, doc true, was true. reported after the but, but still it, it does not explain yeah twitch ended his partnership right they banned him and then he fires back, he files a lawsuit, wins that lawsuit, and he wins the money, and now all of this is unfolding, and stuff is coming out, it's changing, and Tim also responded as well. And, and yeah, what, what is going on, right? What is going on? Uh ban, he was actually reported to these guys, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Damn, we reported heard, we heard by that, yeah. themselves the day of the ban. I guess back in 2017. Uh, another thing to note here is that that we haven't seen Twitch themselves officially respond to this. It's just the Twitch ex, ex Twitch employees or people that claim to have known the information. Twitch still has not responded officially. And another thing that is very very suspect is that a lot of people that are defending Doctor Disrespect right now. Okay, fair, but the thing that I'm like doctor disrespect okay guilty or not guilty i'm not even talking about it like let's just think about it for a second he has put out a statement sure right people are defending him right now absolutely why is doc not using that to his advantage why why yeah my point is that why doesn't he come out now and put out another statement or try to you, you feel what i'm saying right like clear his name because he just dropped that statement and he peaced out though i mean doc i mean dude listen if you want to walk around butt ass naked in front of a bunch of kids man you could have done that every day of the month last month you could have just went to one of them parades man check it out you could have went to one of them parades family quote unquote family friendly parades and walked around butt ass naked in front of as many minors as you wanted to homie you would have been all set no, nothing would happen you none of those guys got arrested it was all good <laughs> and, yeah like if you fall into that then all of your sins are washed away right so yeah in a way he's spitting though like anyway, damn man. so doc disrespect has been broken off by pretty much everybody. This dude is like a pariah in the community right now. Nobody likes pedophilia. He ain't lying. Especially sponsors. It's extremely bad for business. And I didn't know this, oh, but yeah. Doc Disrespect actually got kicked out of NBA 2K24. Oh, he yeah, even yeah, had his yeah, own that, damn that side true. quest in NBA 2K23. I didn't even know this. 
But Dino. Doc got dumped by a Dino. bunch of his sponsors. No, Turtle Beach broke him off. NBA 2K, all his streamer buddies are turning on him. Nobody yeah, really... Yeah, okay, I guess now it's the perfect time. So this is what Tim the Tatman said. Without saying much, but this is what he said. I just want to say I appreciate all the positivity you guys have been uh, giving me. This has been a... It's been a wild one, man. Like I said in the uh, video... Just playing with Doc for so long and then seeing all this happen, man, it's... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was hard, to say the least. This, this, it was not an easy week there. But um, I just appreciate all the love you guys give, man, for real. Thank you. And uh, it is not unnoticed. So I do appreciate. So it didn't say too much there, but I get it though, right? Because uh, like, uh, listen, I know a lot of you have been saying that, well, Tim the Tatman, not a real friend. Nick Merck's not a real friend. Uh, uh, some of you guys are saying that, yeah, bro, distance yourself from them. So some people, and I've seen that happen on the internet where people are accusing even Nick Merck's and Tim the Tatman of like the PD situation because you're like, uh, people are saying that y you knew Doc, right? You played with the guy, right? So you must have known this situation and you are supporting Dr. Disrespect. Doc admitted to these things. So that means that you also uh, agree with him. And, uh, you know, there is a whole lot of this and that. Uh, the simply put, like, guys, like, you cannot blame somebody else for another man's failure. Or uh, if one person is getting accused, you cannot accuse like other people, though, right? Uh, it, it, but, but people are accusing them. And, uh, yeah, it's a real uh, situation right now. He has his back. Tim the Tap Man. Nick Merckx. Even his own gaming studio broke him off. Midnight Society, Crazy, we are terminating bro. our relationship with Guy Beam immediately. Bye-bye. Doc disrespects game studio Midnight Society is parting ways with him after allegations about his Twitch ban surfaced. And I'll tell you what, man, if his own studio is breaking him off and all the sponsors are dumping him and all his friends are dumping him, uh, man, this is, I mean, the dude has hit rock bottom. I mean, the guy was on top yeah. of, literally on top of the gaming world, and now nobody wants to touch him. You stay the hell away from me, you hear? Yes, sir. Even Stealth and, Clown right and here. And he's still not, like, coming out because you would think that people are defending him, though, right now. You know, that's the crazy thing, though. People are defending already, like, I can... Like, you guys, you guys are going to put it in the comments. They're going to be like, yeah, I defend Doc. Or you're going to say, no, I don't defend Doc. Uh, Do uh, Dr. Disrespect. So it's like, either you defend him or you don't defend him. But I have seen so many of you defend him. Uh, so, yeah, people are defending him. And Doc is like, yeah, I I'm a piece out, bro. Like, I'm not even going to try anymore. Uh, so d does that mean that he really is guilty, though? Because I I'm just trying to ask questions here, man. Because uh, and, and also, I want to see the chat logs. I want to see more proof. I want to... I wanna I want to see Twitch official response, not like the ex-Twitch employees that are coming out and talking about it. We need to see what Twitch was doing at the time uh, and, and why Twitch kept it shut for this long, right? Like, yeah, it's a real situation, so. Chiming in. This is a statement from me personally. It does not reflect any of my Hard companies part? and has not gone through any legal or PR approvals. Robert Bowling, don't give a damn. He's like, I'm just shooting from the hip right now. And he puts it out there very simply. If you inappropriately message a minor, I cannot work with you, period. I promised to act on facts, and I did. So listen, man, I haven't seen the full chat logs, but for him to be broken off by pretty much everybody, even his own gaming studio, yeah, and for him to be wild. you know, reported to the center of missing and exploited children by Twitch themselves, fellas. Yeah, that, that's wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, like, listen, man, I know a lot of you guys love Doc or you love his character, but we gotta be, I I'm trying to be as fair as possible because, listen, we're not talking about video game leaks here. We're not talking about, like, like GTA leaks here where you can be wrong or right and it wouldn't matter that much, right? We're talking about somebody's life and I understand that, bruh. I totally understand that. This is why, like, I'm trying to cover both sides here. Meanwhile, there are channels that have said that, yeah, he's guilty, and that's it, and they have pieced out, never really follow up after that. Or they're following up, but they're just calling him 100% guilty, which I totally understand, though. Because he has uh, admitted to uh, uh, texting a minor, and sometimes the conversation would lean inappropriately. That's the word of Dr. Disrespect. So I 110% see that, but then it's like, people are like, okay, so define a minor, uh, define the, the, the chat you were having, define the text you were sending, uh, define inappropriate. And I get that part too, but when you don't come out defend yourself and when everybody's dropping you and you still don't come out defending yourself, I mean, something is weird, fellas. Uh, something is definitely uh, going on right now. So, Doc is looking guilty in this one. Absolutely. Let's not even sugarcoat it. Though. Let's not even sugar... Uh, uh, yeah, let's try to be unbiased on the situation. Let's be fair here. Uh, we need the evidence. We need the, we need the evidence. 
there's stuff going on here that probably we don't even know about. I mean, there's some sick, sick, sinister stuff going on. Uh, I mean, Doc, damn, Doc keeping it real to his name, disrespect. He disrespected everybody, his wife, his fans, the law, God. I mean, he's pretty much disrespecting everybody. And for all you guys out yeah, there saying he's being set up by Twitch, someone at Twitch don't like him. Yo, my boy actually went on X and admitted it. He yeah, put a big statement out what, on X and actually... That, that's the thing a lot of people are neglecting. But like I was saying, people are the pe people that are not neglecting this and people are still defending him they are they want to know define inappropriate uh, define this and that uh, a pretty easy explanation would be that he's just admitting to the allegations and the allegations are like he was sexting a minor that I, I get it that's different from texting right that that's different but still like doc is gonna put his best foot forward so that is another argument that i'm seeing uh, around as well but i i guess uh, in all reality at the end, we need to see uh, Twitch official response, okay? We want to know, uh, we need to see what truly went down, and we need to see the chat logs, absolutely. Because this situation is all over the place, and uh, I guess if you have your set opinion right now, whether you believe he's guilty or not guilty, nobody and nothing will change it right now. Unless something crazy comes out, uh, 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 yeah, right? Otherwise, you're not going to change your opinion. That's it. You're going to stick with your opinion, and that's it. So um, I'm saying, let's bring the chat logs. Let's uh, just find out what truly happened. Because Doc is he's nowhere to be found. He just, I feel like that he's going to come back when all of this situation has died down, you know? Admitted that he was having inappropriate texting sessions with a minor. He says it down here in a statement somewhere. I'll put the statement on the screen. You guys can read it. Uh, it's yeah, it's crazy, dude. It's absolutely crazy. I mean, Doc, you probably shouldn't have put this out here. You probably should have lawyered up, man. Listen, if I'm Doc, the first thing I'm doing once people start throwing pedo accusations around at me, I am hitting up my lawyer immediately. I'm not going nowhere near the internet. You know what I'm saying? I'm not typing no statement. I'm not making an apology video with my dog. I, I, <laughs> what? No. No. How are you going to do T-Martin like that, though? Hey, whoa. Hey, papi, tranquilo, papi, tranquilo. But I think he did, though, in a way, because you, you remember when he was saying no wrongdoing, no wrongdoing, no wrongdoing? Initially, he was doing, but after his studio, Midnight Society, the studio that he started himself, once they dropped him, that's when he put out this statement. You, you feel what I'm saying? Ooh, how are we going to get out of this one? Uh, I'm not doing none of that stuff. I'm lawyering up immediately. I don't know why Doc put this message out here, which he's edited like a bazillion times right now. But this dude had it all. He had it all, and now he's got absolutely nothing. Everybody dumped him. He actually almost had a $10 million a year contract just to stream with Kick. Check out this footage, people. Like I said, I mean, they, they had a gracious number. 10 mil per year, zero gambling, but it's just not enough. Like, like I said, I, hey, and it's no hard feelings. I, I appreciate the $10 million offer per year, Kick. Okay, but the number's 50 million. I'm not budging from that one. Huh? Uh, hey man, can a brother get like two pennies or something like that? Bruh. How how does that work, bro? Like, fifty mil, you get the two time. Okay. If not, man, he should have accepted that, bro. He should have sometimes, bro. Do not <laughs> neglect the opportunities, cause right now he got he's banned everywhere, and a lot of people are believing. I mean, YouTube did not ban him, but in a way they did, kind of, right? They fired him, but they're like, okay, still work for us. <laughs> Uh, and basically they have demonetized his channel for those of you that do not know which is which is big right and they have demonetized but i believe the ads are still running on his channel so youtube instead of giving him money they're like okay we're gonna we're gonna keep all the money for ourselves and we're gonna yeah so that's uh what's going on too I i'm not interested in moving community's too strong here did you guys hear that did that man literally turn down a 10 million dollar a year contract with kick to sit in his room wearing a wig and some sunglasses and have a bunch of zoomers carry him in warzone say it ain't so bro say it ain't so. a bunch of whitelisted hackers carry him in warzone bro you oh, gotta be no. kidding me <laughs> you gotta hey, be kidding hey, me i'm hey, over time out time out puppy time out puppy chulo tranquilo tranquilo man because for a long time z laner has been accused of cheating right and he is uh, kind of calling him out indirectly <gasps> Because Doc usually play with him, and he is the only one that's... Uh, and he also plays with Tim the Tatman, but Tim the Tatman is not accused of cheating. Nick Merckx is not accused of cheating. So, uh, yeah, Z Laner is the only guy that plays with Doc that is accused of cheating. So he's kind of like... <laughs> At first, he did the homie T-Martin dirty, and now he's doing the homie Z Laner dirty, though.
over here literally killing myself, putting myself through the most insane mental torture imaginable just to barely make 40 or $50 a video. And my boy's over here turning down 10 mil. Let me tell you guys something right now. If anyone comes oh, to you and man. says, yo, yo, Jimmy, I'm going to pay you $10 million. Yes. Yo, yo, Frank. Uh, uh, your name is Jimmy? No, your name is Jimmy, though. Okay, I think his name is Jimmy. I think this is the first time I'm finding out because YouTubers always go with like, you know what I'm saying? Like they're, they're, they're superhero name kind of, you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you, you know, in Spider-Man, when Tom Holland is like, oh, okay, so we're using our superhero names. Okay, okay, I'm Spider-Man. Yeah, what's up? I'm Spider-Man. Uh, this is 402 Thunder though. Crazy, I'm gonna Jimmy? pay you $10 million. Yes. Anyone comes to you and says you're gonna pay you $10 million a year, I don't care what it is. The answer is yes. <laughs> this man actually said he wanted to be paid $50 million a year oh, man. to play video games in his basement dressed up like a damn Halloween costume character? <laughs> Bro, you say it ain't so, man. $10 million. Oh, my. Hey, listen, Kick, if you're watching this video, yo, I'll come I'll come stream for you guys for $1 million. I'll wear whatever disguise you want me to wear. I'll even sit here and stream butt-ass naked like them dudes in the parade. I'll do whatever you want me to do. $10 million? Where do I sign? Someone come offer me $1 million to stream. I'll be out here every day streaming. I, I don't even need $10 million. Someone, Kick. Hook your boy up. Kit, come to me with a contract if you're watching this. I will be here every day. I'll quit all my jobs. I'll come sit here. You pay me a million dollars a year. I'll sit here and stream for you guys all day long. Whatever you want. Whatever you want, I'll stream it. So yeah, like, there are certain opportunities, man. You just gotta take them. But I feel like Doc, uh, of course, he's worth more than $10 million. So he's like, no, I need 50. I need 50. Yeah, so uh, for you and for me and for you guys watching, I, I'm, I suppose for most of you, some of you are probably sitting in dark rubbing your hands and you're like, I got more than $50 million. Uh, I, I mean, come on, man. Like, bless a homie up. Bless a homie up if you got more than $50 million. But generally speaking, for most of you, and uh, this is a lot of money, man. For me, for him, uh, it's a lot of money. So, yeah, $10 million, I mean, sheesh, bro. That's crazy. So he turned down $10 million, like, damn. Someone from Kick, holler at your boy. $10 million a year and you're turning it down? And now he's literally being dumped by everybody. Every studio's dumping him. Uh, do you guys see Doc recovering from this? I mean, the dude... I, I, think, I think if the chat locks comes out and if it's not that bad, I think certain things might be reversed. But he's not even trying, though. That's uh, that's number one, right? Like, he's not even trying to clear his name. Or maybe he's speaking with lawyers behind the scenes. Uh, and he's uh, maybe going to come back uh, later on. He did say he's going to come back. So we'll see how that goes. But, 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 yeah, he's not defending himself. He's not defending himself at all right now. Nothing like that is happening. But I see, okay? So best case scenario, right? Chat logs comes out. And it's not as bad as how we're uh, hearing about the story on the internet, okay? That's number one. But even then, though, his name is tainted, though. His name is tainted. So I think a lot of sponsors that have dropped him, they still don't, are not gonna work with him. Most of them are probably gonna start to work, if, work with him if the story turns out to be good in the favor of Doc. But I guess they're still gonna wait some months maybe a year or two or maybe more than that and that is if he's able to clear his name it's gonna take a miracle that's like best case scenario but i feel like that uh for most sponsors he's just completely dead he's completely gone maybe his own studio will uh or he will get back uh, to his studio uh if the if the chat locks comes out and we find out that it's not that bad, but then you guys gotta think about it. Robert Balling, the way he sounded like, of course, uh, I'm saying the way he sounded like, I don't know if that's what they truly meant. I, I don't know if that's what Robert Balling truly meant or not. But the way it sounded like is that uh, Midnight Society statement, the studio statement, alongside Robert Balling statement, the way it sounded like that, they seen the facts, they investigated, and they tried intentionally they tried to uh, find the truth and they did find the truth and the truth is that he is uh what they are saying he is right so that's why uh robert balling said that after seeing the facts I i'm not gonna work with him i'm a dad i i cannot work with him yeah we, we saw that right so there's that aspect to it as well what did he see what did this uh they, they see what if they didn't see anything and what if they just heard the news and they're like oh yeah okay we're we're gonna distance ourselves uh from him maybe there's that aspect to it as well but, so that's like the best case scenario chat locks comes out the worst case scenario none of this comes out and then it's over it, it's it already is over uh I, I'm talking from like a business standpoint, right? Like I'm not. Uh, of course, some of you that are defending him, you're I guess still gonna defend him. 
but but yeah right but i think from business standpoint if nothing more comes out it's over for him it's over and on his own twitter feed and then uh thank you for subscribing admitted that he was sending inappropriate messages to a minor he even admitted it so i mean i don't know this is a crazy story and damn i didn't think someone as high up as doc disrespect would get caught lacking like sending messages yeah. dude you know okay let's play the doc this disrespect one. persona entirely drop the act okay Bruh. so face banks abandon the doc disrespect per for the doc he says that he should come back as doc respect Bruh. abandon Bruh. the doc disrespect persona entirely drop the act and ditch the costume fire up the stream and just play dumb <laughs> pretend like you have nothing to do with the doc character and agree with sad. the general consensus that he's a creep call yourself mr respect it's your only play so that's it man doc disrespect has to abandon who he is and create a new persona that also hates doc disrespect uh, banks this is honestly genius this is yeah. honestly genius. I mean, <laughs> Doc oh could have God, multiple bro. personality disorder. Who knows? I'm not even joking about it. And he literally played. Yo, imagine he comes out as Mr. Respect, though. You feel what I'm saying? That would be crazy. And okay, that that's one way to redeem himself. You know what I'm saying? That's one way. That's one way. Uh, recently, we also had other stuff that came out. I'm not sure if you guys uh, saw this or not. Apparently, Japan is not happy, and they're trying to cancel the uh, the Assassin's Creed, though, because of all the woke nonsense that's going on. Check out this video on the screen. If you have already seen it, then check out the video on the left.